Hello friends. So today we will talk about Sling Query in AM 6.3. So Sling Query is a concept in Apache Sling. Uh, this bundle is not uh, by default available in AM 6.3. But if we want to use this functionality, we can just go this particular link. We can download the bundle and we can upload it in the Felix console as I have already uploaded it. So go, go here. Sling query. So you can see that the bundle is available in my Felix console. 3.0.0 is the latest one. So uh, we just need to upload this bundle and we need to add dependencies in pom.xml. So nothing much. We just need to go to pom.xml. And I have added the dependency here like we used to do. So, okay. So, after you know adding the dependency, we it can start using Sling Query. But before using Sling Query, we need to you know what are the use cases of using Sling Queries, how it is important to use, and what are the you know basic ideas of using it. So, when to use Sling Query, the answer is Sling Query did use a lot of code complexity a lot of looping statements and all in you know in our am java development so it's, it's good to use when you want to uh, have some operations over ancestors if we want to you know have a small small resource tree and we just want to get something through it so it is good to use sleep query so if we see an example we can see here that if uh, it's code written over here we i have I have taken a resource and I just want to go through its parent and if the parent is CQ page I need to stop there and then I need to find the uh, you know I need to find that that particular page is created from a specific template which is my slash template so if we want to you know just uh, uh, reduce this much code what I can do I can just directly go to resource and because it is working over parent, so I can use closest, then I can use CQ colon page, then what I can do, GCR colon content slash my, so, sorry, uh, GCR colon content slash CQ colon template, and then is equal to my slash template so this much big code can be you know concise to this particular statement and if i want to you know the, this returns as a the it it returns as a sling query object sling query is like an iterator so there is only one one result will be there so how can i show it down sling query dot as list and then get both element so it will give me a resource object so then i can do whatever i want to do so this much big code can be precised or can be concise to these particular small statements so it's good to use a uh, sling query in terms of this particular scenario uh, we will start from the very basic that we have a object this is also an object in sling query this is link query object then if we put list children over here sorry children over here this is also link query object then we can you know filter the children on the basis of pages you have seen the issue that uh, if, we, if we have a resource like we detail and we want to get all the children of this particular thing so i need to put a check that if resource of is re of resource type cq colon page so here there is only one single statement i'm getting the children and i'm just adding a filter over here and then it will result as a sling query and if i want to iterate it because they can be multiple pages so how can we iterate it resource resource colon sling query and then response dot get writer to print resource dot whatever get path get whatever 
it should come here so it is we can you know, just play the code and see so okay we can oh sorry okay so this is how we can do a lot of filtering if i want to make a filtering over resource type we can put here gcr colon content slash link colon resource type and whatever resource type i want to put so this is how we can put a filtering in the single statement and it just picks it out we can also check what are the good and bad ways of you know sling query actually sling query is not an alternative of query builder it's just another concept and we need to understand where it is good to use like if we want to make some operations on the parent and sisters like if there's a complex logic in the sling resource api maybe if we want to fetch the children and if we know that children will be less like 15 or 20 children but if there is a big big resource tree no need to go for sling query always jcr queries are good to use so there are multiple methods list okay maybe my code has been built let me check it once and then we can move go forward so we can see that all the all the children are available here i want to put print talent so it is coming like this print talent okay so moving forward we have multiple methods closest works on the ancestors like parent parent of parent like that children you all know filter filter works sorry in the results so if we have a result we can put a filter on that has has used if i want to get over children that put all the children which has this particular value somewhere so we can directly put it find find the works on a big resource tree if i i want to find rich text on all over the tree structure there are multiple methods you can just find all the use cases of this these particular methods there are sling query modifiers also available so let's talk a bit about modifiers so if i want to get the first children here what i can do i can put first here so this is how it returns the first element so as we all know that sling query are immutable so this there is one object then another object then one more object gets created in a single query so sling query uh, modifiers helps me to do a bit more easier what i can do resource dot children like cq colon page dot sorry no need to write a dot you can put a modifier here itself first so here only two objects will be created if we want to get even then we want to get first then uh, means you want to get the first even resource child object of this particular resource so we can do it like this as well so there are multiple ways we can use modifiers we can also check what others are available there are operator list operator list i have already given you a link here so everything is defined over here there is an operator list so if we want to get the resources children of a resource which are having jcr page is under jcr content which has a title contains foo so if foo is anywhere in the string in the title it will bring out the results for us contains a word is bit bit you know uh, change then contains contains a word a value delimited with a space so this is no the, the, here foo is not delimited with a space so it will not be included other than this all will be included so there are multiple choices like ends with equals not equals starts with you can explore it more and you can just take the benefits of sling query so in uh, i want to just like conclude that if we if we have a big big looping statements and we are you know uh, no need to fire jcr uh, jcr queries over small data set we can use sling query so thank you